time there is mighty visitation, it simply means appointed time. Amen. People are going to ask you after this conference because they will see things that has happened in your life. And they are going to ask you how did it happen? How managed? You are going to tell them God managed this. Amen. God bless you wherever you hear the sound of my voice. What a time to be alive. We serve a mighty God from city to city, from nation to nations. We've seen the mighty hand of God. We've seen the help of God. We've seen the move of the Spirit of God everywhere we go. Now, those of you in America, get ready. It is your turn. It is your season. Now, God is calling for a meeting. For quite some time now, we've not been in America. And all of our people and our followers all over America, Southern and Northern America, have been calling and now God has asked us to come we're coming to America get ready uh, if you are in Atlanta if you are in Dallas if you are in New York get ready it is your turn the Lord showed me you were in a dream and in that dream a person showed up like a woman and the woman took gold from you the woman took gold from you gold to yes. go. Yes, sir. I asked the Lord what happened. The Lord said it has to do with your virtue and your greatness and that of your children. And the face of the person that appeared appeared like a former sister-in-law. Yes, that sir. That was how the face appeared. But you don't understand what happened. The Lord said it was your glory that was tampered with. And there been a lot of attack financially, even your health, yes, over sir. your children. Yes, sir. And the Lord said tonight, what was taken by the enemy, the Lord is restoring it. I'm seeing an altar. I saw comfort. That's your name. Yes, sir. I saw Gabriel. Oh, that's my son. I see Elizabeth. That's my second. I see the road victory. Ah, my third. I see the road Zena. Ah! Prophesy, Papa. Those of you in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, from the first, second to the third of July, first, second to the third of July, get ready. Please keep this date in your calendar. Book it. It's going to be three days. You will not forget in a hurry. And for those of you in Dallas, get ready. Uh, Dallas is on the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Get ready. Your life will not remain the same. And for those of you in New York, it is 6th, 7th, and 8th. Get ready. And for those of you in Philadelphia, it is 10th, 11th of July. Get ready. Your life will not remain the same. Each of these uh, cities is going to be three days you will not forget in a hurry. Tell everybody to tell everybody. The limit breaker comes to America. You need to pray. This is serious. I see something coming out from the water. And the Lord said, this is an ancient spirit that they used to worship in your father's house. Yes. There is an ancient spirit. You know about it? Yes. This thing troubles marriages in your family. Yes. Because people marry, but the enemy fights the marriage. Exactly. Then I saw the spirit, the spirit swimming like a very giant crocodile. Very big. Swimming through this big water from the boundaries of Zambia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Zimbabwe. But as I pray today, yes, sir. That wall will collapse. Amen. The Bible says the Lord God is that spirit. And where the spirit of God is, there there is liberty. Get ready. God is going to be touching you. God is going to be speaking to you. God is going to be healing you. God is going to be delivering you. And God is going to be breaking you free from the powers. Come as we gather together. It's going to be the convergence of the power and the spirit of God. You will not forget this in a hurry. I look forward to see you. Be there. Listen, I come in the name of the Lord. It is your turn, it is your season. Tell somebody to tell somebody that God's generational prophet comes to town. Chris Okafor is my name. And by the grace of God, I am the lead. 
pastor of Grace Nation Global. Join me, your life will never remain the same. Venues will be displayed on your screen right now. Begin to call, your life will never remain the same. I'll see you by the grace of God. Your time has finally come. Shalom.